Hey guys, Kyle Sutton here with Better the Berg and your Pittsburgh neighbor. Um, doing our little web show where we go around and introduce you to local nonprofits that are doing good things here in Pittsburgh. And today I am with Gavin, the executive director of Allegheny Goatscape. Um, maybe you've heard a little bit about him, maybe you haven't, but it's uh, a really cool project that he has going on and I, I'm excited to introduce him to you. So th thanks for having me, Gavin. Yeah, thanks for coming. So, goats. <laughs> goats, yeah, yeah. Uh, how, how did you get into this? Well, uh, I used to work for an organization, another nonprofit called the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy, and uh, we hired some goats called Steel City Grazers, mm -hmm. and they ate up a hillside for us in the city very efficiently, and I was smitten. Um, yeah. yeah, and uh, they were efficient, they did everything they needed to do very quickly, and uh, allowed our staff to come through and plant trees and take care of the space almost okay. immediately. And I uh, did a little volunteering with this group, and um, yeah, not too long after, they, they sought me out to see if uh, I might want to uh, continue on what they had started, and uh, I said yes. and. Um, Reincorporated in 2000, beginning in 2017 as okay. a nonprofit. Yeah. So they were a, a for profit before that. So, right. Yeah. And now uh, we've had two wonderful seasons of uh, eating up a lot of unwanted vegetation all over the Pittsburgh region. Okay. And that, that's kind of the, the goal. The, 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 these goats get rid of the, the plants that people don't want around. Kind of thing. Yep. Yep. Uh, we um, go to places where unwanted vegetation, often invasive species, are growing so that people can uh, essentially get a clean slate of their uh, landscape. Uh, we like to go where, um, specifically we like to go into public places like the parks or vacant lots, but we certainly do um, places like backyards or side lots as well, mm -hmm. uh, because we believe this work is good work to be able to um, eat up unwanted vegetation without using pesticides or herbicides and uh, doing it in a friendly manner. Yeah, so it keeps chemicals away, but it also, yeah, I think just gives something people they really appreciate having around. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, that's a, essentially a byproduct I did not uh -huh. realize with this organization that people love to see animals out and uh, animals at work. And uh, goats are extremely friendly. We also have uh, guard donkeys, uh, yeah. and they're also very, uh, <laughs> they're enjoyable to watch. Um, yeah. In the in the landscapes where they're working, and so it's been cool to see whether it's college campus or along the Monongahela River and the Great Allegheny Passage to see them working and uh, see people enjoying them work. Mm -hmm. How have um, how have uh, you gotten connected with various organizations where where the goats have been been used? A lot of it started as word of mouth, and it certainly helped that we had the predecessor Steel City Grazers who had begun this work. Okay, so okay. we were. Well, the goats, I was not a known entity, but the goats were. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, they had done some really good work already in our, our Pittsburgh parks. And so, um, yeah, we were able to kind of ride that and can keep that going. Um, so a lot of it had been word of mouth. But certainly, um, we, uh, we received some really nice attention through media, through um, some articles. Sure. and. Uh, so that's very appreciated um, to have that and you know we have a small social media presence and mm -hmm. uh, people love to see goats on Instagram and yeah. Facebook so no, yeah Go goats are underrated I think people really <laughs> like that yeah, <laughs> yeah 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 they're fun goat to see that's they're cool fun, fun animal to see now um, is some, somebody's hearing about Allegheny Goatscape and um, thinks wow that's a really really cool mission, how, to, how can I uh, support these guys? What would be the best way to get in touch? Sure, well there's a, a few things that uh, one could do. Um, if one wanted them to work for their, or in their neighborhood, uh, certainly um, even though we are pretty much full for 2019, which is crazy to think, wow. yeah. um, there's certainly opportunities um, to get on the waiting list uh, for properties, either your own property or properties in your neighborhood, mm -hmm. uh, for the goats to come out and work. but. Aside from that, uh, as a nonprofit and as an interesting business that isn't able to do a lot of work in winter, mm -hmm. if, if any work at all, um, we certainly uh, seek out um, donations and help as a nonprofit with that sort of work. And um, we, as a as an organization, love to have volunteers. So oh, cool. if you would like to get involved with um, 
just helping out care for the goats, whether that's in the winter or when they're working in the summer, uh, there's opportunities for that as well. Neat. Yeah, because I mean, that's something you've mentioned. You'd like to be able to make this a, 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 a have an educational component. To Absolutely. It well. That's great. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, for, for the public to learn more about it, um, both learn how to care for the animals, but also uh, teach more people about why um, bringing goats uh, as an alternative uh, to cleaning up landscapes would be a good thing. We love to share this, share the word with yeah. uh, people all over. Very good. Well, thanks, Gavin. I really yeah. appreciate you having me out. Yeah, thanks, Kyle. I appreciate it. Definitely. All right, guys. Um, Allegheny Goatscape. Um, be on the lookout for them. Uh, maybe, maybe you can catch catch them in action this summer. Um, and appreciate you watching. Um, tune in. We'll find we'll find more great organizations to introduce you to. This was. Uh, Kyle Sutton with Better the Bird. Take care.